Alright, I'm on my way. If you've ever put a cell phone to your ear, you should listen to what neurosurgeon Dr. Keith Black has to say. There's no way to say that cell phone use is safe. I, I think that the public has a right to know that there could be a potential risk. The public generally assumes that if one is selling something on the market that we have uh, had assurances that that device is safe. To be clear, Dr. Black's message is at odds with headlines from the largest international study on cell phones and cancer. Their conclusion, little or no evidence cell phones are associated with brain tumors. But if you look just one layer deeper into the appendix of that same study, and you'll see something unsettling. Turns out participants in the study who used a cell phone for 10 years or more had doubled the rate of brain glioma, a type of tumor. And keep in mind, cell phone use in the United States has only been popular for around 15 years. Back in 1996, there were 34 million cell phone users. Today, nearly 300 million in use, according to industry figures. Environmental factors take decades to see their effect, not a few years. So if it may take decades to get a clearer answer, what can we say about cell phone safety now? Scientists here in San Jose, California, are trying to answer that very question. So one of the things we have to do first is, is literally put the brain inside the head. Exactly. So it's very light now. The FCC requires all cell phones emit below 1.6 watts per kilogram of radiation. Now let's put some brain to it. In order to test for that, scientists here try and mimic the human brain with salt, sugar, and water. Let me show you precisely how they do this test. Um, this is a model. Uh, this is supposed to approximate the human skull, an adult male. Uh, this is my phone that we've actually attached there. It's, it's connected at the angle that most people would speak with. And inside over here, very important, this bubbly liquid inside, that's what represents liquid brain. What's going to happen is the, the phone is making a call. After a period of time, this device is going to come over here and start to measure radiation at all sorts of different points in the brain. After that, they're going to take all of those numbers, basically put it on a computer screen, and tell us where the hot spots are and just how high the levels got. My cell phone measured within FCC limits, but the whole process was, well, surprisingly low-tech. And what about different size skulls or children? In children, their skull is thinner. Their scap is thinner, so the microwave radiation can penetrate deeper into the brain of children and young adults. And their cells are dividing at a much faster rate, so the impact of the microwave radiation can be much larger. But there have been no studies on children in cell phone safety. And here's something else that might surprise you. The cell manufacturers themselves actually advise against putting the cell phone right next to your head or in really anywhere in your body. Take a look, for example, with the iPhone 4. The safety instructions specifically say when using the iPhone near your body for voice calls, keep it at least 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch away from your body. And what if you're a BlackBerry user specifically? They also have safety guidelines. In this case, they say keep it 0.98 inches or 25 millimeters from your body, meaning your head or really even your pocket. Dr. Keith Black has been talking about this longer than many but the voices joining him are becoming louder and more prominent. The city of San Francisco pushed for radiation warning labels on cell phones. The head of a prominent cancer research institute sent a memo to all employees urging them to limit cell phone use because of possible risk of cancer. And the European Environmental Agency has pushed for more studies, saying cell phones could be as big a public health risk as smoking, asbestos, and leaded gasoline. The Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, they, they set the guidelines for how much radiation a cell phone can emit, and they say cell phones are safe. But how can they be so sure? Keeping them honest, we decided to come here to try and find out for ourselves, but they declined an on-camera interview. The type of radiation coming out of your cell phone is called non-ionizing. It's not like an x-ray, but more like a very low-powered microwave oven. Uh, what it what microwave radiation does, um, in the most simplistic term, is um, very similar to what happens to your food when you put your food in a microwave oven. Uh, it's essentially cooking the brain. But based on their past statements, the FCC isn't convinced there's a real risk and maintain they, quote, do not endorse the need for consumers to take any precautions to reduce exposure. 
Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, San Jose, California.